I'm going to show you the kind of thing you can do in graspable math um, just using the tool by itself. And this is, uh, I'm going to start with an example that's a pretty common one in middle school math classes. That's where you've got two equations and two unknowns, and you're solving these simultaneous uh, linear equations. You can see them right here on the screen on this whiteboard. Now, this whiteboard is meant to be more or less like a normal whiteboard tool, but um, it, it happens to be one that we built. It lets you draw lines, things like this. But it, it could be any other um, tool if you want. I mean, in other words, we could just embed these in an HTML page and everything everything works fine. So it works very well in, in multiple JavaScript sort of situations. So these equations we've put up on the screen um, uh, that I put up here for you, but I, I also want to note they're not just equations, they're also cards. They can be moved around, they could be deleted if I press that little button there, right? and they can be rearranged. And not only can they be rearranged, but their parts can be rearranged. So the thing that we, we do is allow you to pick up and reform these equations. And you'll notice I'm unfolding a history right here. If that's a little overwhelming, I can just hide it and we can just work straight in the equation as a single thing. I'll do this here. And now, of course, I've solved for x. And if I'm solving for multiple equations, well, I want to substitute that value of x into this equation. So I go ahead and do that. And then I can just solve for y. And again, that the history gets a little bit intense. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide that. And here we go. And you can see there, in that amount of time, that's how long it took me to solve for y. Of course, I've got to go back now and figure out what x is. So y is 1, x is 7. And that's the solution to our original equation. If we want to, we could grab either one of those, just make a nice little fresh copy of it, substitute in our values, and check our work. But, I mean, to point it out, that's a little less necessary than it is in other kinds of contexts, since graspable math will not let us make most kinds of algebra errors. If we want to see where certain things came from, like where did that 10 come from? There's no 10 in the original problem. Like where is that 10? I can make some guesses, um, or I could go through and check. Or in our case, I can just click on the 10 and confirm that yes, indeed, that 10 is a direct descendant of that 30 over 3. Right? So there it is. And 30 over 3 is 10. That's why we got that 10 there. Right? I can say, well, what happened to the 9? And there's the 9, right? It turned into that 3, which then got subtracted to get us to the 7. Um, and, of course, I've got this history now as a, as a nice online object. So I can grab this whole thing, the work that I've done, I can capture it, I can save it, I can load it, I can share it with my class or with my friends or anything I want.